What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com and you guessed it man, as you saw it in the thumbnail. I got another Kyosho Mini Z, it's rear wheel drive, yeah, I drank the Kool-Aid guys and uh, I'm all in with the old uh, Mini Zs. So let's go ahead and go over as far as what comes in the box too, see that we get the chassis, let me see if I can kind of get in there a little bit closer for you guys so you can kind of see it even better. So yeah, chassis, the radio, some little tools pinning gears, some cones, it's all good on there. Also, uh, just kind of let you guys know too, this thing is in training mode, so if you're thinking, oh man, it's not that fast, you know, you can take it out of training mode too. I do have a video on that as well. Extra level hop-up parts that you can get for it, plenty of other hop-up parts that you can get aftermarket ones, not just through Kyosho. So yeah, and then on the side here, talking about the circuit board as far as when it comes to the handling of it. Uh, LEDs that you can put in some of the bodies, not all of them. There's even just your gyro, all that good stuff. It comes with full ball bearings in it as well. I'll put a link down in the description if you guys want to get one of these. Checking out the car itself. But let's get this thing out of the box. Let's go over this radio real quick here down at the bottom slide that cover off and you have four triple-a batteries you have your on and off switch right there then you have steering adjustments or your dual rate just so and also your steering or I'm sorry your throttle trim that's there you pretty much don't have to even touch that one and then you have your channel 4 if you have lights you can make them strobe or you can keep them steady on and then you have your steering trim up at the top do some adjustments that's a little foam grip that's on it and also your on and off switch. Now what comes in the box, if I didn't, I already showed you on the side of it, is that you do get some cones, you do get a little binding uh, tool, so you can push on the little button. That little button, tiny little thing right in there, a little black thing right there. You just, that's in case, uh, for instance, maybe the car came unbound or whatnot, you can push it. Like we had to replace the circuit board in uh, my friend Brian's vehicle, so we had to re-sync it up so we had to rebind it. So all we had to do is push, use that little tool, push in on that little button at the same time, turning the car back on and then turning on your radio and it just binds right up. And also right. you do get a little like wheel nut so you can remove that little black deal that's in there. That way you can remove just those wheel nuts for your tires. So that's pretty black nice. Bag that's here. These are gonna be parts for making the front end narrow. Other things as far as for your gearing. And there's a little tool in there for removing your pinion gear. Yeah, you do get instructions. You kind of want to look that over how to properly remove your <laughs> body so you don't break that. And then you get nice instructions nice. here too. So that's nice. So you want to look through all that anyhow. Uh, these are what I use in my car currently, which would be these uh, Kyosho Speedhouse rechargeable batteries. These work pretty well. Uh, you get quite a bit of runtime out of these cars. So, I mean, I'm talking like over an hour just off a of charge. Now, speaking of charge, this is a charger that I use so I can peak charge my double A's or triple A's. I just purchased this off of Amazon and this is no affiliate links or nothing like that. So if you want one, you know, there you go as far as you can kind of look at that, maybe the model number that's up at the top there too, to reference. If you look at it here, this is kind of like an LM, they call it a setup where the motor sits low to the ground. So kind of like a low motor. Now, and if you look here on the box, it even has like the chassis, the MR-03 wide LM. But if we come over to this other one, we're like, okay, well, that's a, it's an MR-03 as well, but it, it shows wide and MM. So that MM is showing this is the way this motor is configured too. Now there's different lengths too. These cars are in different sizes, so we can kind of put them next to each other, kind of give you a comparison a little bit on it. So you can notice here is this one is a little bit longer. So this is a longer body. So depending on the car that you get, you know, it's gonna kind of vary depending on how, what the chassis is also. And you do have these little front tabs here that are, you can go with the body. So you'll wanna make sure that you don't lose those cause then you won't be able to fit your body on there. And then also depending on the car, it'll kind of, you'll need to go onto Kyosha's website. I can always put a link down in the description below. It'll kind of give you an idea of what's compatible and what's not compatible with the type of car that you just chose you know as far as those bodies go because there are bodies that are only for all-wheel drive there's some that are just Le Mans type style 
these other ones you here. You can make some adjustments like on the rear of it. It does have like a little T plate that's here, so you can kind of slide it back and forth a little bit. But um, in some cases too, you just have to convert it. So you have to buy like a little kit to make that all happen. Uh, kind of showing over here, like in your instruction manual, it has MM, like the, I'll call it mid motor kind of deal, the way it's set up. And again, that's kind of this setup right here. So then we go over to this RM, what kind of like rear motor, because it is all the way in the rear, kind of like a Porsche, you know, as far as that one goes, where the motor's all the way stuck in the back. So when it comes like here, like I kind of like say high motor because the motor is up higher. And you can see it's sitting over top of the axles itself. So it just depends on the car that you get and how they have it configured for that body and everything too. And then you have the LM as well and you do get extra little parts too so you can change the gears again that's what i showed you in the very beginning of it but there's quite a bit of detail to these cars so it's not just a run-of-the-mill kind of rc car there's a lot there's a lot of thought that went into these cars i definitely dig them i love the the scale look of them uh, you guys already kind of know that now if you've been watching a little bit you're like wow you went gun ho so yes i have uh let's Appreciate you guys watching as always don't forget to like comment subscribe check us out at omgrc.com Catch you real soon, and I'll put the links down in the description below if you guys want to get one of these or all these other mini Zs or any other kind of RC products that we have at our website, omgrc.com. You guys take care. Peace.